Good afternoon everyone, um, welcome back, hope you all had a nice weekend, I know Monday is not the best day in, uh, in the week obviously, but hopefully it will go quickly for you and we'll get to the weekend before you know it, uh, and in the meantime hopefully I'll entertain you this week with either doing really well, doing really badly, so hopefully it will go either way, but um, thank you as always for everyone's support and following me and subscribing as usual. Um, and yeah, let's crack on. So basically, I didn't have a after the last episode, I didn't have a game for 16 days. So I've just um, holidayed. I can't believe we're on episode 35 of this series. It's it feels like it's gone so in some ways so quick, but also I feel like we've done so much in such a short period of time. So um, yeah, but anyway, we've managed to sign some of our key players, new contracts like Gary Brewery. He's going to be a top top talent. Like if we sell him, eventually. Um, He'll probably be the record. He'll definitely be the record club transfer, and uh, he's definitely going to be a Scotland international when it's all said and done. But yeah, Deli Ali, we managed to sign him on a new contract, thirty-three k a week, which is a lot for the Scottish Premiership, but it, I do think he's worth it. And look, like I said before, he's really putting the effort in. He's playing um, reasonably well in the. He's playing really. He's played really well in the Premiership. Um, and that's that's what all we can ask for, really. Uh, do I need? Can I praise his training? I can. There we go. Yeah. So he's done really well. So we've done we've, we've done well to get him on a new contract. We've signed this guy here, Adrian Labour. He will be coming soon enough. Um, in the summer, uh, and a good addition, young defensive midfielder. Uh. I'll just go through all this now. Let's out for a few weeks, unfortunately. Add him to the shortlist, you never know. Somebody wants Craig Fisher. Bloody hell, he's highly rated, he is, isn't he? Craig Fisher. So he'd be a long-term signing and getting him in from Juventus, Scottish International, I think. Um, I, every club I manage, even even recently I've started an offline save as Man United. They all, my DOF always go for him, and I don't know why. But yeah, I'll add him. Who's he used to play for? Shamrock Rovers and then Ross County. I think, um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, he's a good player. We'll add him to the shortlist, you never know. Uh, I'm not changing that because it'll just annoy him. Oh, free transfer, you know me. I love a free transfer. And I love a South American free transfer. We'll get him in. Oh, wrong one. There's some reason, even though it says it's improved, all these have gone down. But anyway, who am I to judge? Swanson's back from injury, which is good. So is Salah Adine. So we're getting back to full strength now. Dabo's back. Signed a new physio. 20 in physiotherapy. So that's good. What's this? Unhappy promise. Uh, yeah, but we don't play a tactic with that role in Lewis. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is, mate. May run down his contract. Oh, I don't want to sell him. I'm not selling him. I'll let him run down his contract. Let him leave on a freebie. I'm never selling him. He's missed. He's missed the bloody Ray Rovers. He's never leaving here. Right, Swanson's not happy. Yeah, because I stupidly changed his squad status. Oh, I wish. I wish FM would just get rid of that. It. It. A hundred percent of the time, the players never agree to it. They always kick off. Yep, the, the the Sega and Sci games, whatever, um, the Sports Interactive, sorry, they only put that in there just to wind us up, I think. It has nothing to the game other than annoyance. It's not realistic, because that doesn't happen. I don't think that happens in real life. It might do, but I don't think it does. Anyway, first game of the episode, we were playing Dundee. So we've got Castillo in goal, Rui is right back, Welsh and Warner in defence with Diaz as left back. Ball and Rios in midfield, Bowler on the right, Maldini in the middle, Middleton on the left, and Hoyland up front. Let's see how we get on. 
I hope you all uh, had an enjoyable weekend. I didn't. Uh, I went and saw my mum with my girlfriend on Saturday. Uh, and then I stayed at my girlfriend's Saturday night. And then we went back to mine Sunday afternoon. We just relaxed. So, uh, yeah, nothing exciting. We watched the Lim- WWE Elimination Chamber. Um, uh, I thought it was a bit rubbish, really, to be honest. Um, don't get me wrong, the wrestlers probably tr- tried hard, but there wasn't really any. The Women's Elimination Chamber match, I thought, was a bit sloppy, which is annoying because I, I reckon that the Women's Royal Rumble match was better than the men's. So I was really happy for the women showing that they're, they're better than the men at times. Um, and then I just thought it was really sloppy. I thought Becky Lynch dropped Tiffany Stratton on her head at one point and literally nearly killed her. Um, yeah, and then Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax was was a good, like a great crowd pleaser, but Nia Jax so sloppy in the ring. I don't understand why she's back in WWE other than the fact that she's related to the Bloodline. Um, it's just no need for her to be in there because she just injures players, uh, injures wrestlers. Good goal by Bowler. Could that for a bloody goal? Um, so, yeah. So, and then like, it wasn't too crazy about the men's elimination chamber. I think for me, the best match of the night for me, well, for me personally, was even though they've got a rubbish tag team name, New Catch Republic. Oh, what a header by Warner. Uh, New Catch Republic versus um, Priest and Baller. I just think Priest and Bella now have got into a, a groove as a tag team. And I just think they're really like a really good tag team. And Priest is just like I mean he, he is a bit old, but I think if they pulled the trigger on him, he he could be like a really good singles star. Definitely could be a champion and have a good run with the main title at some point, whether it's a babyface or a heel. I think he is better as a heel than he's a babyface. But yeah. Um, overall, I would have said it was not very good. Um, and I was hoping it would be really good because I was bigging it up to my girlfriend. She's never watched an Elimination Chamber match before, so I was trying to get it across so this could be quite brutal. And there were there were parts that was quite brutal, don't get me wrong, but um, I know they're limited in what they can do. I know they can't bleed or anything like that, but like I said, it just wasn't very good. Anyway. Ooh. We're 2 0 up after 53 minutes. Hopefully, we're turning the corner after that abysmal run that we had. Oh, yeah, me and my girlfriend started watching. Remember Shameless, the UK version? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, come on, VAR. Let's see what VAR does first. Ah. Yeah, we started watching um, the Shameless UK series um, from the beginning. And I forgot how funny it is, but bloody hell, with 2024 eyes, it's very, very bad. Frank having relations, I was called it relations, with his um, with his son's girlfriend who's still at school. It's a bit, oh, and then you got the guy that owns the shop having relations with Ian, who at the time was a child as well. And it's just like, oh, oh, it's just, it's just, yeah. Vomit inducing, but you don't think about it when you. When I watched it originally, I was a lot, lot younger, so I didn't think about things like that. And now, at nearly forty years old, you kind of go, hmm. they wouldn't be able to get away with that now. But it was good for what it was at the time. It showed life in like rough areas of Manchester. Um, it was perfectly written. Um, some great. Actors and actresses in there as well. <clears throat> I mean, James McAvoy got his, you know, got made famous with that show, went on to do really well. So, uh, yeah. And Frank is literally, the character of Frank's probably one of the all time best characters ever. You just want him to get punched in the face at all times. <laughs> He's just such an arse. Right, a few players are knackered, so we're just going to quickly make some subs. Hopefully we can see this game out, get this win. I worry that the players um, start, the pressure gets to them when they're winning, and then they end up drawing or losing. Not like that though, because that was a great goal. 
They've had some good goals in this game. Boulder did something similar in the first half from outside the box. Right, can we get another one before the end of the game? Oh, we can. Deli Ali, get in. Fifth goal of the season. I put him in an unfamiliar position on the right wing and he's done well. Um, I know he played on the left wing for Spurs at times when in, in his prime, but he's more of a just behind the striker type of player, isn't he? Yeah, great result to kick off the episode. We're now six. We could go on a good little run here and we could, we could, no, we can't, we can't get bloody European football, but we couldn't, we can get fifth. So that'd be a great first season in the Scottish Premiership. All right, when's our next game? Three days, okay. I won't bother holiday and there's no point. Mm, Zach Swanson playing time, okay. Keep him happy. Changes squad status. Even though Rue is better. It's just to keep the, the other players happy as well. Some players are getting too big for the boots. Oh, we've gone back down to 7th. Dundee must have played afterwards. Celtic beating Rangers. There's still 10 points behind Rangers, but you never know. Rangers might end up I think I think in the Premiership, I think they do like a like a playoff system with with the top four teams or five teams. I can't remember now. We'll soon find out. All right, playing Hearts next. So we're third, so we've got to be at the top of our game. Swanson's going to be back in for Rue by the looks of it. Probably the assistant manager trying to keep him happy. Right then, I think it's an unchanged. Oh no, Rui is playing right back. I think it's an unchanged team, basically. Yep. Oh, must squeeze in on the left for Middleton. Yeah, let's see how we get on. The kits are very similar, which makes it a bit difficult. We've got possession. Bowler. What a pass. Maldini. Yes, get in. Good start. Bowler's been a good addition to the squad. I'm very well since he's joined us. All right, one nil after twenty minutes. After uh, two minutes, nothing else has happened since. I'm happy with that. I'll happily have no highlights. Um, just for people in, who. Um, Basically, on Twitch on Fridays, I will be starting this Friday a save with a Ugandan club side called SC Vipers. And I'll also be doing it as the Ugandan national team manager. reason why I did it is because I just want to do something different. I always enjoy taking over. Um, I always enjoy doing African, con African nations, sorry, managing in there. Um, unearthing some talented African player and I basically want to try and get Uganda as good as possible at the national team so it's a, it's a it's, hopefully it'll be a long term thing I think that'll be my main FM Twitch day until FM 25 comes out now so it's only once a week because I've, I've stopped doing football manager stuff on Twitch because mostly because of the fact that it wasn't really getting many people in there because I think there's there's way more FM content creators out there than I thought, so it's very hard to break that 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 um, break the glass as they called it. So I've started doing 
TEW2020 content, which is a wrestling simulation game. Very, it's literally like the wrestling version of Football Manager, but it gets a lot more. It's got a lot more people interacting because uh, a lot of wrestling fans join, and um, it, yeah, it does a lot better than the Football Manager stuff I was doing on Twitch. So I'll, but I will still, I will go. Yeah, I will be doing some Football Manager stuff, one, but it'll just be once a week instead of what I was doing before. I was doing like four days a week on Twitch with FM content. So yeah, so hopefully it'll be an interesting FM save where we try and do where I try and do my best with the Ugandan. I basically I use the Ugandan site SC Vipers to create good Ugandan players. I try, I'll try and improve the facilities. I try and sell on players to European clubs with like percentages added so then if they get a big transfer it makes a big deal I've seen other people do it in different African countries and do really well with that in the long run so yeah hopefully it'll be good safe and hopefully it might get a few people interested and wanting to join in and see how it goes and then obviously if that happens I might start doing more FM content uh, not even Forest want to interview us. Nope, I'm all right. Right, what are we doing? When we got next game, we ain't got a game for 19 days now, so I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. All right, and we're back for the second part of the episode. Um, like I said, I didn't have a game for 19 days or whatever it is, so I just decided to holiday, and now we're just going to work through the index items before our next game. Um, we've signed this gentleman here, Hugo Palacios, Colombian player, uh, very good player, definite upgrade in what we've got at the moment, media description winger, so yeah, so he's a winger, South, you know what we like, we like South American wingers here at, at Rafe Rovers, uh, I'll just go through this as quick as possible, because there's probably not much to talk about, uh, why can't my mouse work? There we go. Hoyland was third place in the Young Player of the Month. Uh, Dominic Ball was third place in the Premiership Goal of the Month. Uh, Gary Rue is continually getting better and better, so we're just going to praise his... Oh, for God's sake. Sorry about this. Praising his train development. There we go. My hand and eye coordination is not the best, by the way, so you will get cock-ups like that a lot. Uh, he'd be a good signing if I can get him down the road. Don't offer, don't offer, don't offer. Okay. So we'll try and sell these. Actually, I'll try and release them. Set for release. Mutual termination. Same with. Hold on, they're saying Dale Taylor's not good enough, but his potential, his potential ability is. So I'm going to ignore what they're saying and offer him a new contract. He'll never probably. He probably won't play for us because we've got Hoyland now but uh, I could do with signing him actually oh god I've just clicked that I don't know if that's a good thing or but no I, th I think he's going to moan about that uh, right Got a new reserve goalkeeping coach. We'll do the do the job for what we need in the reserves. Uh, keep going. Add him. Oh, he's a free transfer. Can't help myself when I see a South American player on a free transfer. I just have to sign him. He's also a free transfer. Um. I don't know how we've got the wages to do this because I'd assume the board would have blocked us. Because I think last time we did an episode of the wage budget wasn't the best. Dander's out for a while. I think I might sell Dander in the summer. Oh, here we go. Youth intake day. We'll just sign these first and then we'll look if they're any good after they've signed. I only sign the green and the yellow ones. I don't bother with the orange and the red. 
because even the yellow ones probably won't do go on to do anything with us it's usually just the green ones but you never know sometimes when you do this and you do the yellow ones they end up turning into uh, an elite talent after you sign them so they'll say that they're a top talent and then when you when you sign their initial contract they'll come up as a green one which is weird yeah, we'll just get rid of these as quickly as possible That. Uh, just these two now. Right, last one. Should have done this offline, shouldn't I really? But, you know, it is what it is. If you like highly edited, polished videos, then I ain't the one for you. Uh, sorry, my uh, at the moment my editing abilities are not very good. I tried editing on the the first video for the Everton save that I did and I kept editing when I said um ah and like and it just made the video ridiculously bad so ever since then I just don't really I do it in sections and I'll say that we'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode and then I'll just class that as part one and then when I come back that's part two etc and then I'll just it's easier for me to then produce the videos so it probably feels like I'm just not editing that much, which is true, but it's mostly because I just don't want to cock up the uh, the video in the first place. I think that's more annoying than actually the way I'm doing it now. Right then. Uh, I think it's an unchanged team for this game. Uh, Middleton comes back in for Musquee, but yeah. Right, let's see how we get on versus Kilmarnock. Currently three points behind Hibs. We're all equal on games, which is good. Good interception by Middleton. Let's see what Castillo can do now. Ball. Bowler. I bet you it's not Bowler. I bet it's pronounced Bowler in it or something. I've been pronouncing it wrong the whole time. Good ball. Oh, nearly. Yeah, so um, basically I swapped my internet and I'm um, with Plusnet. They sent me the router last week and they sent me a text message today to say that my internet's ready to go. So I unplugged my Sky router and plugged in my new Plus Network, um, Plusnet router and... No matter what I did, there was no power coming into the Plusnet router. So they're now sending an engineer out tomorrow. And I'm just and they're sending out a new hub. So I'll get that today, uh, tomorrow or Wednesday. So it's really annoying. Um, so I'm having to use my mobile data, which is not unlimited. I have 40 gigabytes. So... We've just got to hope that this doesn't take up, doing this doesn't take up too much because I've also got a stream later as well. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll just see. I'm hoping that the engineer, can, I don't understand why the router is not working. It's a brand new router, there's, there's no power coming to it at all. And I've tried different other sockets um, and it's not working. And I know it's nothing to do with my electrics because all my other things are working. So I don't know what the hell's gone on. I don't understand why they would send a, a router that doesn't work. It's not a good start to the relationship I have with my new broadband supplier. I'm just annoyed at Sky that they wouldn't uh, keep my price at the same I was having from a broadband. So I left them to go with Plusnet and now I'm, I'm already in route. Uh, got buyer's, re buyer's regret, as they say. But hopefully it will get sorted. Maldini with a header. Um, Plusnet have got... Um, a very good reputation they're doing very well for themselves they are voted the best broadband supplier so i'm hoping that they can do it fix it and everything will be fine ah one one
good save by the goalie. This is what usually happens when we have when somebody has a corner, the goalkeeper grabs it straight away. Very rarely anything happens from a corner on the on the game. It's a bit of a flaw in the match engine, if I'm honest with you. I wish FM would sort it out. Kilmarnock don't seem to want to give us the ball, which is frustrating. We're trying to get the ball off them. They're going to score from it. Yep. Uzi. Milovanovic. There we go. We're scouting. Right, let's see if the ref will help us out here. Ah. Right, let's give the players a telling off. Let's see if that'll fix it. I feel like we go one step forward and two steps back on this oh, with this Red Rovers team. Good interception there. Right, let's get an equaliser quickly. Hopefully. Oh, that was a terrible pass, Hoyland. I feel like this is going to be another Kilmarnock goal this way. Oh, great. We're giving them a penalty. I just knew it. I just knew it. <sighs> I feel like that's slightly outside the box, but... Nope. I'm wrong. Okay. Great. Well done. Pretty wrong. Mm. I feel like it's game over now. Still time, but... I think we might need to make some uh, some substitutions. Bowler, you're coming off. Deli Alley can come on for you. Hoyland, you're coming off. Gucci can come on for you. Actually, I'll leave it for now because it's only 55 minutes. I don't want to go crazy just in case we're injured. Right, let's try encouraging the player, see if that'll work. The gentle approach. Come on, let's get a goal. Get back in this game. Middleton. Oh, come on, Middleton. Oh, it was a save. I thought he just completely missed it then. Right, Middleton. Mm. See, there's Dominic Ball I can take off. There's Walnut. Actually, I'll take off Dominic Ball. Mark Leonard on. Rios, come on, Delhi. Yes! Again, Delhi only scoring on that right wing. That might be something worth looking into. Delhi Ali on the right wing. Come on. Let's at least get a point out of this game. I don't think we deserve to lose, but. Right, they've got a bloody corner. Middleton's knackered. We all need to come off. Put Carl Joseph on. Oh, an actual corner that didn't go straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Typical that, isn't it, when it happens to them? That's offside. Yep, that's offside. It's a clear offside. No point looking at VAR. Yep, thank you, referee. Right, we've still got time for a late equaliser. See firing up the players, see if that'll do anything. Ah, nuts. We don't seem to get any consistency. Can we have a look at this? Can we have a look at the, what's happened? We win like what? We won like in the last five games. Last one, two, three. In the last six games, we've won three and lost three, basically. So, just tells you everything you need to know. We've got three games left. I think, unless there's obviously this playoff thing. We're now seventh again. Um, we might we might have to look at trying to get six and hope that we just get six really. We'll recall you. In fact, we might release you because you're not good enough. Uh, what are we doing? Time? Yep. Oh, 
Right, we've had a few of our U, U, uh, U players from the intake side. So in a second, we'll probably get the inbox item to tell us that our new graduates, and then we can have a look at them properly then. Just trying to get more of a transfer budget and wage budget. So we're, uh, we've managed to convince them to improve the training facilities. So that's good. That help for the future when we've got the young players coming through, they can have better facilities. Here we go. This is what we want to see. So we've got Mike Giles, or is it Gillies? I think it's Gillies, isn't it? Yeah, Mike Gillies. Um, 15 year old right winger. We need to retrain him uh, in that position there. Uh, hold on, let me just check my tactic. Inside forward support, okay. So inside forward support, there we go. That's that. Um, Jim Lines, midfielder, attacking midfielder. Plays a ball winning, which which is a position that is a role that we do use. So that's good. Eighteen aggression, personality balance. Eighteen in teamwork, so that's good. Cameron Adams, uh, striker, and also a left winger, so he plays in his, So he's mostly the inside forward support, which is a role we do play with. Bravery seventeen, determination seventeen, fairly determined personality. So that's good. I'll just quickly go through these. These aren't usually any good. Actually, I'm not going to bother with these. I'll click on them so you can look at them. Um, but yeah, no, I'll leave the rest. All right, we've got Ross County next. Right, have we got any? We might. Look at signing a few of these. They might be worth signing. So we'll scout them first, see if they're worth bringing in. Sorry, I just realised my mic was quite far away, so you might not have heard me properly then. Hopefully you can hear me a little bit better. Um, we've, we've got to appeal the work permit decision for Maldini. We've signed another South American player. Jahima de Arigo, de Arigo, uh, Peruvian. Good, looks like a good little player. So we add him to the mentoring section. Doesn't make any difference. In fact, I want to get rid of him. We'll just release you then if you don't want to leave mutually. Right, I've got to go back into the training mentoring circle. There we go. Yeah, Gary Roo's in one of them, so that's good. Realist, he's a realist personality. I've never seen that before. I don't think I have. I don't know if a realist is a good thing or a bad thing. Daddy Ali's not happy. Right, okay. We'll change it back then. Yep, there we go. We've fixed it. We've sorted it. He's happy again. Right. Oh. Yeah, as I said, Ross County next. This will be the last game of the episode, so we'll get this done. He's a pretty good player, actually, to be honest. He'd be a good um, backup option for Hoyland and Uchi, I suppose. Plus, we steal him away from Kilmarnock. Ah, he doesn't want to come. He's only just signed a new contract, but we might look to sign him in the summer. Or at some point. He's definitely a good player, though. We definitely could do with him. Let me check the financial side. I think I think our wage budget is. Uh, let me just. 
Oh no, we're not. We're, we're uh... oh yeah, because I got I forgot last episode. Um, we managed to get uh, um, the, the 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 owner gave us some money basically and managed to shift it around a bit, and that's that's why we've got a very healthy wage budget now, which is good. Because like I said, I know I've got loads of money with this because of the editor file I've got, but I I want to I don't want to just buy all these great wonder kids. I'd rather just buy unheard of free transfer South Americans. So it's a bit more realistic. Not that Rafe Rovers would buy loads of South Americans in real life, but um, it's a little bit better than me buying the next Wonder Kids and stuff like that. But anyway, um, Rosler's in defence, but other than that, it's pretty much unchanged from the last game. Oh yeah, let's see how we get on. Nothing so far. Oh, Bowler's injured. Deli Alley's coming in. He's played very well in that position before, so I might retrain him as an inside forward on the right. We'll see how he gets on. Because usually he's only good when he comes on on the suspension when there's like 20, 30 minutes left of the game. I don't know whether he'll... Whenever I've started him, he's not really played the best. He's more of like a super sub option. But we'll see. We'll see how he gets on. Go on, Middleton. Great interception there. Will he loop it in? Oh. Right, ball with the ball, but a bunch. Warner. Ball again. Like a lovely over the top ball to Delhi. Unlucky Delhi. Delhi trying to put the goalkeeper off. You'd love to see it. Bit of, bit of shit house going on there. Right, Hoyland. Ooh, that's a bit greedy. Hoyland should have set, it, set up Delhi Alley there. Right, go on, Delhi. Beautiful. Oh, I was going to say beautiful ball, but not. Defender intercepted it. Decent ball, we'll call it. Decent ball. I do like the colour of the Ross County shirt here. It's a very nice colour. It's like a maroon purple, isn't it? Ah. VAR is going to check this, though. Hopefully it will come in. Our, uh, hopefully it will work in our favour. Yes, good, 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 good. For some reason it won't let me shout at the players, which is really annoying. If I do that, oh, now it'll let me. There we go. There we go. Free kick. It's already worked in our favour. Free kick. Middleton. I don't think this is going to be a goal scoring chance here. I think he's going to try to loop it in the box. Oh, I was wrong. Hit. There we go. It's fine. I'm happy with that. Rosler with a rare goal for him. Free kick to us again. Middleton. Oh, he's hit the bar. He's pretty good at free kicks, Middleton. Let's have a look. Uh, Middleton. Free kick 14, yeah, pretty good for the Scottish Premiership, I'd say. Right, let's get this ball, see what we can do. I thought that said Carrick then. I thought, hold on, does Michael Carrick come out of retirement to play for bloody Ross County? What a beautiful little diving header that was. I think that was Rue as well. Showing another strength to his game. Oh dear. Oh dear. That was not good, Rue. That was that after I just I literally jinxed myself there, didn't I? Oh unbelievable. Right, 
Right, who's not playing well? Oh, sadly, Deli Ali's not playing the best. Ah, Rui. Rui. <laughs> you need to come off, mate, for your own sake. Maldini needs to come off. Uh, hold on, I need to do some tinkering. Uh, let's wait for this highlight to work out first. Right, let's see what we can do from this. Come on, let's let's uh, let's stop messing around here. Oh, Rue there with a the pass. Can he redeem himself before he comes off? Oh, lucky. Right, okay. Right, let's take off Maldini. You're knackered. We can't find it. There we go. This is what we'll do. Deli Ali and then Maldini. You can come on. Carl Joseph can come on. So Deli Ali is in a more familiar role. Dominic Ball's tired. So Max Power can come on for him. Um, we'll leave us up for now. Right, we've got about ten minutes to go in this game. Uh, even if we win, we're not going to get past Hibs in this game. Nah, one more. Probably a fair result when when it's all said and done. Right, boulders out for a few weeks. Uh, yep. Yeah, so that's that then. Really, I'm going to. Um, I'll be back with the next episode tomorrow. Thank you as always for following and watching. Um, much appreciated, and enjoy the rest of your day. And like I said, if you want to watch me um, play TW 2020, I'll be streaming for a bit to today from 2 p.m. UK time. So yeah. Anyway, speak to you tomorrow. Bye.